Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Elias and welcome back to Project Ozone Light. In the last episode, we built this thing, which is a pretty simple mob farm. Nothing too great about it. I've been harvesting it as things have um, spawned and just got some stuff. I actually managed to get a creeper to get killed by a skeleton, so I got a music disc. It's been pretty good. Um, and I've been working off camera on a couple of things. One, I've been sifting quite a bit. We got a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, big thing to get though is redstone right now. Um, also have been sifting a lot of grass, or rather dirt to get grass seeds. Uh, and that is what I need to start, hopefully, a passive mob farm, which as you can see, I kind of made look nice. And so we're gonna start that today um and see what happens so plan for today um i'm gonna be honest we're not gonna start building the actual base for quite a while um not until i basically decide that it's time um once things have gotten a little bit out of control in here i'm still kind of deciding what it is i exactly want to do with the uh permanent base but i'm not entirely sure yet uh, i've been thinking you know, we could always do just a big flat area. Um, I like doing layers because uh, a lot of times wiring and all that kind of stuff, it's a little bit easier if you have something underneath. Um, but it might be easiest just to make a gigantic platform and call it a day. Alternatively, we could also make... Uh, I've considered making natural platforms. So um, basically islands floating in the sky. Uh, it'd be a little bit more work and I don't know if it's... Uh, the work I'd like to do in this, uh, but it is something different, you know, having uh, a stone and dirt area, um, a, a, like an island, floating island, made out of stone and dirt, and that being kind of the main uh, theme, and have multiple islands for different things, have one for like farms, maybe even make like bar, like buildings on top of them, um, or just kind of leave them open, uh, I, I just don't know, I haven't decided yet, and that is... Something I'll have to figure out relatively soon. But we need to fill up this watering can. And we're going to go um, spread that grass around a little bit. But the big thing that we're going to work on today, um, because we're not going to actually, you know, is there anything I can do with these apples that would be halfway decent? Um, I want better food. Because food is annoying. And... That's not all that much better uh, for what it is. Uh, same with like apple juice. Apple juice is considerably worse because we get less food out of it. Um, fruit salads would be good. Can we make a cutting board? Yes, we can. All right, um, and then I've been leaving um, ores and all that kind of stuff in here. So we need one of these. Oh, excuse me. Um, we need some of this. I also have a bunch of string because I made a bunch of string. Uh, it's simple as that, to be honest. Uh, so let's make a cutting board. And then we should be able to make a ton of fruit salads. And that should help um, everything in terms of food. So every two apples is a fruit salad. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with that. So let's keep some wood on us, I guess. And I wanna grab a stack of stone. Um, but we need to grow this grass. And what we're gonna be working on, at least today, um, starting today anyways, is we are going to be getting into um, Tinker's Construct. That is the big thing I want to work on today. I wanna start getting some Tinker's tools because our tools are pretty awful. Um, but let's keep this close because I don't know what the animals are gonna be like. I'm aware of multiple different mods that do um, relatively kind of nasty things with um, mob spawns, um, passive mobs specifically. And I just kind of want to make sure that things aren't gonna be awful for us. Uh, now, one thing to note is, one, we have some ender pearls, which is always nice. I'm going to stand over here for just a moment while we while we chat. Um, but I've also been getting these loot bags, and um, pretty much all the mobs drop them at different rates. Uh, and I have quite a few at this point. 
Um, something else we can do, by the way, is get some lures and actually get the uh, animals to spawn that way. But I don't know if it's needed right now. Anyways, we have a bunch of these loot bags, and I want to go ahead and open them because they can oftentimes hold really good things. So there's one. Get some bread from that one. Uh, some more paper. I always hit escape because I expect to have to go out of this menu. Um, a jailer's safari net. Not bad. Ooh, a diamond. That's nice. And then the epic loot bag. This should have the best of things, and it just has a single piece of iron. That is pretty disappointing. We did get a music disc, which is nice. Um, let's put that in there. Take those to the mob farm. Uh, we'll put the paper in there, and then... That stuff can that stuff can go in there. And we'll put the nether wart in there for right now as well. Now something else that I did get from sifting the dirt was ancient spores. I actually have two. I didn't realize I had two. Um, that is really good stuff. Also, this is a blitz. AKA an elemental. Um, I need to make another sword. Uh, the getting the uh, ancient spores is actually really nice because we can use that to make mycelium, uh, which is useful for ex nihilo, um, various things, but something we'll worry about later. So let's go ahead and kill this blitz, uh, as well as the little baby skeleton. And then we will get into what we actually want to do today, which is a lot of crafting, to be honest. Also, we have another loot bag. What we got? Ooh, mana steel, rib bones, and iron pants. I put the iron pants on because why not? Um, we are also really hungry. Uh, we did get some niter. That is nice. All right, let's eat some apple fruit salad. For some reason putting it in a bowl makes it even better. Um, but yeah, we should be able to. We're gonna just put the diamond in there. And let's get to work. So the first thing we need to do, other than put that away, is we need to make a bunch of things with wood. Um, and specifically, we're gonna need some patterns. Um, so blank patterns, if we get one, uh, I think we're gonna need something like this. Blank patterns, we're gonna want a lot of these. And we're going to need to make a bunch of things. So let's take a look at that. Um, we're going to need a part builder, stencil table, pattern chest, and a tool station. So I think I know how to make most of these. Um, part builder, uh, stencil table. Uh, we'll need a chest for the stencil, the pattern chest, and then we'll need. Um, a crafting table for the tool station. And that should be that quest. Indeed it is. We're gonna take the middle loot chest. So this is gonna allow us to start making, well, Tinker's tools, uh, which are really, really good. Then we're also gonna to wanna to make all of this stuff. Now this stuff is gonna be a little bit more annoying to make right now, but um, it's not gonna to be too bad. We might be able to make it a little bit easier as well. Uh, let's go ahead and make a crafting station. And we're going to put this stuff, I guess, right here. So crafting station, uh, put the tool station. Now, which version of this do we have? Uh, if we put the stencil table there. Okay, so we have that version, which means we should be able to put the pattern chest there and see everything. Awesome. So we can go to the stencil table, put in all that stuff. And for example, I might want a pick right off the bat. So we're going to get that, um, a tool rod, and a binding pattern. We should be able to do that. Now, do we have? No. So we have to grab the stuff. There is a version of Tinker's, uh, I think it's the newest version, where um, in this menu, uh, you can see all of the different stencils you have. Um, off to the left, but I realize you, I don't think you guys can see my mouse, so I, I'm pointing with my mouse cursor and I don't think you guys can tell. Um, so let's go ahead and make 
just a standard stone um, stone pickaxe. And then we're also going to want to grab a wide guard and a sword blade. And I'm not entirely sure what all we're going to need, but let's get the stone sword. And um, we'll get wood shards, which gives us other things. Um, okay, and then we can put those all the way. Uh, and now if we go to the tool station, we should be able to make both a pickaxe, um, just a basic stone one, and a normal Minecraft sword. So that is really good. Um, and you know what? Let's go ahead and make just a standard chest. Now, is does this one have the parts chest? Uh, it does. So with a plank, we just need a stencil. Um, I think this will work. Let's make the parts chest. And we're going to put that right here. And can we put, we can, we can put the shards in there. Good. So um, let's go ahead and open this loot chest. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, those are solar panel materials, um, which means we'll be able to make solar panels, uh, which means we can make power. Um, that's pretty cool. All right, uh, we're gonna put those away for now. And I'm gonna put this stuff away. So with the amazing awesome tools we have um, we'll be able to do a little bit more now if we want to make the smeltery stuff um, we're gonna need a lot of clay uh, I believe let's let's look at it because I'm not entirely smeltery uh, I'm not entirely sure so the smeltery controller requires seared bricks which requires grout which okay that's not too bad a single block of clay with some gravel and sand makes a bunch of stuff. So we have two right now. I have a little bit of sand, but it's gonna be easier to take a stack or two. And um, let's go ahead and hammer this out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, one, two, three, four. All right, so something like this. And if I fill it in, it should be um, I believe this will be one stack, and then we can, honestly, uh, I do want to see. Ooh, um, we're going to want to put a torch on that. That looks weird. Um, so we should be able to do this. And it'd be nice if I could get up there, but I'm not tall enough. Um, but it's fine. We're going to just do something like this. And, you know, we're just going to make a bridge so I can climb up here. And we're going to basically just fill this in uh, and get two stacks of blocks. And then we're going to turn uh, a stack of the gravel into uh, sand. And something to kind of note, um, because this is something I, I really considered while I was working on things today. Um, cause I, I obviously prepped this earlier today. Um, one of the big things that is kind of a concern going forward is the fact that I'm not entirely sure how we're expected to automate things. Um, because there's no like, um, how do I want to say this? There's, there's no uh, obvious automation for, uh, X Nilo. Um, none of the, the typical things are in. And things that I'm aware of from other mod packs, um, I haven't been, I have not been able to find. Um, I stuttered a little bit there, uh, but yeah. So it's just one of those things of I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to get a lot of ores um, easily and quickly, but it's something that we should be able to figure out um, going forward. It shouldn't be too bad. We do have mystical agriculture, which is a really huge boon in getting a lot of materials. So can't complain about that. 
Um, okay, so let's let's get grout. And to get grout, we're gonna need we're gonna have 16 grout. That is not enough. Um, so we're gonna need more clay, which means we need more sand and gravel. Um, and let's turn. We have a well. Specifically, we're gonna need dust. But let's get some more sift. Uh, not sifted, but hammered down. Uh, something that the early episodes are going to have a lot of is me doing this kind of stuff because, um, well, we need the materials and there's not much choice. Um, we just kind of have to bear with it. So, uh, bear with it. Uh, that's all I can say. Um, so we have a good bit of that. Let's get, um, do I have, you know, I can make a diamond hammer. I do have a couple of diamonds. And I think that would be worth it. So let's let's go ahead and go for that. Uh, let's get some sticks. And a diamond hammer. Now something else that we're going to want to start working on is um, a farm, which is going to require a lot of dirt. That is not too big of a deal. Um, dirt is kind of easy to come by to be perfectly honest uh we just need to make sure we have plenty of it uh so that we can you know get a decent farm but honestly getting a lot of dirt there is some really easy ways one thing that i did and i i did this off camera uh, not a big deal but also that does not work that way you have to place it on the ground or else it will break off because these are not full slabs um, but one of the ways I was getting a bunch of dirt was actually leaves, leave blocks. So make shears, and from shears you make, um, well, from shears you make the, the stuff that you need. Uh, so we have 58. I'm going to turn half of these into dust. Um, so yeah, you just take two iron, you're going to get the iron back. Um, very easily from sifting pretty much anything um, because you get iron guaranteed in this mod pack uh, so we can actually take all three stacks of these if we look at the uses we can make 48 iron like iron is not in short supply at all um, it's just a matter of kind of getting a lot of it um, next thing we're gonna need to do is get water buckets uh, and get clay so how much are we going to need? Uh, let's take a look at that. So 8, um, 16, 48, um, 48 plus 351, 57, 64, um, 60, 71. So we're going to need a little over a stack. And so if we put most of this up here, um, that should be fine. Let's get a little bit more water. And something that we can also automate pretty easily fairly soon is um, barrels uh, with the use of hoppers. So there's 40, that should be close. Uh, so things we're going to need, we're going to need a bunch, we're going to need eight, um, seared bricks. So get those soon enough. Um, let's actually go kill the mobs because why not? Um, it's something to do while we wait. And we might get some good stuff out of it. So there's a lot of creepers. I am worried about creepers because I don't know if there's any special creeper mod things or anything like that um so for example in the project ozone 2 there was the john cena creepers who um had really large explosion radiuses Ooh, we got a legendary loot bag those are fairly rare um the john cena creepers were relatively dangerous to be honest um because of the nature of how they work um 
really short fuses and they blew up in very large areas. Not something you want to see. Also, something we can do is we can just um, continuously hit shift and just hold right click and get a ton of apples. Um, totally not what I've been doing here recently. And then now we can do this. And let's just do that. There we go. And there's more fruit salad. Cool. Um, so let's get four more, I guess. If we have a little bit extra, it's not a big deal because we can make bigger smelteries later. Uh, and there is better ways to get smelteries, I do believe. Um, is that in this? We can cast out seared stone, which is literally just stone. We can just smelt up cobblestone and get more seared stone. That's it. So we'll probably end up doing that at some point. That'll probably be how we get more rather than making grout because grout is annoying. But there is another half a stack. Uh, and then we are gonna need, uh, one, I'm gonna need some of that stuff called coal. Um, my mind was starting to trail there a little bit. Um, we need some coal. Uh, and here and it should be fine. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna call it on that. So we need uh, We need a drain We need a faucet um, We need the smeltery controller a Casting table um, And then we're gonna need a sear tank that is a little bit annoying because the tanks do require, um, there's a couple of different, sear so glass, that's not what we want. Um, sear so gauge requires more glass, but I almost always go with the sear so tanks. Um, I don't know why, uh, I think they're all the same, they just look different, but we need either a sear so tank, sear so gauge, or sear so window. Um, so the window, yeah, the the gauge is the cheapest to make. So we'll, we'll make that last uh, and see what we can do with that. Um, we are also going to need the basin. And then we'll get the rest of the stuff here in a moment. So um, let's go ahead and open the loot bag. So we got a magic hood, emerald horse armor. Some of this stuff is going to be really good later when we have access to EMC. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this is. Honestly, just looks like a, I don't know. It's a random thing. So, okay. Not sure what it does, what it is, or anything like that. Um, let's put the wheat in there. Uh, and we have a legendary loot bag, which has a sword. Okay. A helmet and some activator rails. That was uh, not too legendary. All right, so I guess let's go ahead and look and see what else we can get into while we're kind of just standing around um, waiting for things to smelt. There is all the compacting drawer stuff. Um, drawers are really good, and we're going we're gonna to use them uh, to the full extent. But right now, uh, we don't have too much use for most of these. So we're not going to worry about it right now. They're, they are a little bit more expensive than I'd like to spend. Um, we could always also just make another smeltery. We need a little bit of glass. Uh, let's just take half of that. Uh, let's get about that much glass. And I'm going to go ahead and put sand and dust and gravel in here. Uh, okay. So I don't know. Let's run across to the other side, and we're gonna hang out over here for a second, just to see if anything will spawn in our passive mob farm. I don't remember off the top of my head um, distance required for uh, passive mobs to spawn, but it's something that I'm not too worried about right now. So uh, I did get a potato, by the way, which was pretty cool. So we're just gonna stand over here, and let's take a look at the quest book. Um, floral fertilizer, that is not something I think we can make right now. And then we're going to need the nether, um, obsidian, um, watering can. Can we get a better watering can? 
I don't think we can. Uh, what does this need? New. No. Nope. Requires water essence. Yeah. Not going to have that anytime soon. So what's the other quest in the agricultural stuff? Um, carrot seeds. Uh, and then we need to get prosperity shards. That is something we can do later. Right now, prosperity shards are locked out by either netherrack or endstone. Um, and while we could make those, uh, it's not really worth it right now. Um, specifically, endstone is glowstone and lava, and netherrack is redstone and lava, and I have better uses of it. So let's actually use some of this stuff. Um, we need to make some basic capacitors, four basic capacitors. Uh, so we have one, I do believe. So we need to make three more, which is just six redstone. Um, a little bit of copper. And we might need another piece of gold. So that should be everything we need. We just have to, you know, make it. So there's that, there's that. And yeah, we don't have anything else in there. We can take the gold nuggets out from there. We have one whole capacitor currently. So yeah, we're gonna need, let's see, Three, six. Yeah, we'll need one more ingot of gold. That will be enough. And then... Yeah, 32. I think that is enough for eight seared bricks. Perfect. Let's get those done. Um, so we're almost done with the smelter as well. But uh, if we can make the basic capacitor, then that will let us start getting into uh, technology and RF, uh, which is always good. So let's just take care of this. That goes in there. Um, the clay can actually go in here. I think that'll be better. Just trying to stay at least somewhat organized. Um, we'll leave it at that. Okay, so there is the three capacitors. That should be a completed quest. There we go, uh, middle loot box. And then that unlocked a bunch of things, uh, including the basic machine chassis, um, double layer capacitors, sterling generators, and solar panels from Ender uh, IO. So don't see too much. Um, I don't know what's going to unlock the next type of stuff. Uh, I do know if we want to get into most things, we're going to need to unlock the nether. Uh, and it looks like a lot of the stuff is just direct, um, direct unlocks. So it's probably just the next thing. Um, if I had to guess, the floral fertilizer might be good to try to make. So let's try to do that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what it requires, but um, it looks like it's any dye or a living root. Now, these are living roots. So we can just take one of these and make some floral fertilizer. Now, did that unlock what I think it's going to unlock? One, there's not much to quest there, but it did unlock Batania. Oh man, Batania. I do actually really like Batania. Um, this looks like a... I can't tell if this is the newer version or if this is the old version. Version. Um, runes. What do the runes look like? They are... It's the newer version. Um, the runic altar looks different, but I think most of the newer version is just uh, slight differences in... Uh, things like aesthetics, um, textures, that kind of stuff. So nothing too major. Okay, so let's go back to the smeltery quest. Um, Energistics Revolution, what probably unlocks that? Um, oh, silicon. 
Um, sag machine. Okay. So that's what unlocks that. Um, generation. Not entirely sure what that's going to be about, so I don't know what's going to unlock that. But anyways, back to the smeltery. Um, we just need the seared tank of some sort, and I'm just going to go ahead and save on glass and make a seared tank. I'll put that away and this stuff away and middle loot and we're gonna get a quarter heart cool um put the quarter heart away and loot chest Ooh, ring of experience and yellow right all right we're gonna dump both of those in there because I don't want them right now anyways with that oh hey generation um so it looks like this was unlocked by um stuff so we can start making who we're gonna have to make a lot of mechanism i wonder what mechanism is um we're gonna have to make a lot of power stuff um uh, mechan i know uh what are they called machine uh steel casings that is the mechanism ba building block, uh, and it does require steel. So whatever is going to get us steel, um, probably the alloy machine, unless there's something in here that will give us steel. But I don't see anything. Uh, and then Draconic, it's probably the wither boss, uh, and Project is probably going to be the dire crafting table so just trying to figure out what's going to unlock what um is kind of good there's a lot of things that spawned over here um so i think that is gonna be it for today's episode um we have quite a lot to do uh and for right now most of it is going to be me kind of working off camera um i'm not going to set up the smeltery quite yet uh i'm going to continue thinking about what it is I want to do um, in terms of the base building. I'm leaning towards the like natural looking base with um, kind of organic looking islands with potentially some buildings and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but for the most part, I'm just not sure yet. And so I don't want to... I don't want to really set too much stuff up without, you know, building. Ooh, torches and another bucket. That's actually really nice. Uh, so, yeah, that is going to be it for today's episode. I'm going to hopefully get some mobs to spawn, um, some passive mobs, that is. And um, I'm going to kind of look ahead and decide what I want to do next. I think getting the nether um, and potentially the nether portal done is going to be a priority. Um, but other than that, I'm not entirely sure. So that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!